Any marker? Action. The number one challenge in making Warcraft was getting the orcs right. Yes, that's cool. To deliver characters that the audience could really empathize and understand. They wouldn't follow him if they could see what he has become. And then I'll show them. We're very fortunate that we were working on this film at a time where the bleeding edge of this technology allows computer-generated characters to really hold the screen in close-ups and extreme close-ups and have that empathy. And how will the great Duratan name his son? A son? <laughs> We've got Bill Westenhofer, who's won a couple of Academy Awards for VFX. We have Jeff White, who upped the ante with CG characters. Right from the beginning, I think there was an acknowledgement that to stay true to the Blizzard aesthetic of these huge characters, we were going to have to do the orcs digitally. But just as important in that was that they be great characters. They shouldn't make you bump from the movie. So they were going to have to be very realistic. They were going to have to have great performances. And that, to us, was the most important thing. <laughs> the body motion capture was pretty traditional for us, but I think we really broke some ground with the faces. The new territory for us was the level of detail in the facial capture. We've got these really tight close-ups on some of our work characters, and there's a whole level of fine detail that you ordinarily don't get with CG characters because facial capture technology prior to this just really wasn't up to the task. And now we're getting these tiny little micro-movements of skin around the eyes and in the eyebrows and around the mouth to get all that fine detail, I think, really pushed these shots up to the next level for sure. The first shot that we delivered was a close-up on Duratan. Very subtle, and yet there were important moments there to bring the character to life. I can feel your eyes. It was really our way to show all the filmmakers, yes, we can pull these orcs off. And when they first saw it, they were floored. To see mm -hmm, just how much of, of uh, all your expressions and everything, just want to make sure you capture everything. It is good to see trees again. Jeff White from ILM and Bill Westenhofer came in with a 30-second clip. They put it on the screen, and I saw an orc, and he was as flesh and blood as you are, as anybody is. You could see his eyes responding, just these little subtle movements, and it felt alive. That was just an amazing experience. It was powerful magic. I came away from that thinking, they've done it right. I just knew that this was going to be great. Hair is one of the most difficult things you can do in computer graphics. And we actually built one tool that we called Haircraft that was custom software specifically all about grooming hair. And it was a major development process. And, and a lot of it driven by the complexity of the hairstyles. In creating the orcs, we're creating characters, each of whom has to carry emotional moments in the film. This is not like we're just having monsters who just need to be scary. There is real nuance to what these characters have to be able to do. Having said that, we knew that there were certain actors who had had the experience of doing motion capture and who understood what that meant and how you do it. Toby Kebbell is definitely someone who we knew that we wanted involved. I am Duratan, son of Garad. Chieftain of the Frostwolf clan. The beauty of motion capture is what you end up looking at is the phenomenal artwork of the artists. But the essence of Duratan, the way he thinks, the way he moves, that's my performance. Go, they book me mat. Finding Duratan's voice was a challenge for me. And I wanted him to feel very much like a person who ponders before he speaks. But his character, his body language, the way he speaks, was like a person who spent a lot of time on his own, tracking and hunting and doing those kinds of things. That was important to me. It was always meat, always life. You don't think it's strange that we lost our home when Gul'dan came to power? One orc cannot get a world through it, Anne. Rob is a world-ranked World of Warcraft player, so he has spent more time playing this game than pretty much anyone involved. When, when an actor gets a job, usually they then start researching that character. And they usually do that for a few months before they start filming. But for me, it's been 10 years of researching this world and this particular game and this particular character. And nobody in the history of film has been more researched and willing to play a character than I think I was willing to play this one and dying to play this one. So for me, there was this enormous pressure on myself to do this right. 
Gods are strange creatures. You think the helmet with the cameras and the wires and the gray suit and the no props and all this thing would be difficult to deal with, but in this case, you're allowed to use your imagination, and that in itself is a gift that you don't get in many places. What happened? I was wrong. Hudan's foul magic is destroying us. Two, one, now! I have a special relationship with Warcraft because my wife plays. We had a baby last year. I was supposed to take a year off of work. And then in November, I get a call to do an audition. So I tell her about it, and she's like, you can't do it. And I'm like, but it's for Warcraft. And she goes, oh, then you really have to do it. And action. <laughs> I've done mostly action films in Hong Kong. And it turns out this is probably the most physical role I've ever done. He has a really kind of smooth evilness to the way he moves and it's it is like very serpentine but it's very difficult to pull off because i'm in a crouched position all the time so all my muscles are working at once to do something even if i'm just standing there your clan was weak and you are a traitor Gul'dan is the oldest of all the orcs so i asked duncan why didn't you go for an older actor that would have the gravitas to play that role he said physically that an older person probably wouldn't be able to handle that role but I think the greatest thing about it is that a lot of people won't even know that it's me in that character. And that's really, I guess, an actor's ultimate goal is to try to disappear into that role. This is a new dawn, the time of the horde. Leave the end.